welcome everybody to the channel and today we got game six between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees in our all franchise team tournament with PC replay baseball and the Yankees are up three games to two but we're back in Boston for possibly the last two games um, and uh, Yankees are sending to the mound Red Ruffing to face Roger Clemens. Clemens is 2-0 in the tournament with a 3.00 ERA. He has struck out 13 batters in 15 innings, but he's also struggled with control. He's walked 9 in that same amount of innings. So, here we go. Game 6, Yankees, Red Sox. And up first is Derek Jeter and Jeter batting 314 in this tournament he's got uh, a home run and six RBI the pitch 344 four. right out of the gate we're gonna have a possible hit rare play foul ball a lot going on in this roll it's gonna be a rare play so now we roll whoops that's a seven Looping drive right, uh, home field advantage, Harry Hooper, you add one to his defense, I thought he was already a five, uh, can't go any higher than a five, that's why, so we're going to roll, he's going to roll a six for a hit, Hooper coming in hard, dives, makes the grab. What a play to start the game as Jeter poked it the other way and Hooper pays dividends. Dwight Evans out with an injury today and Hooper getting the start in right makes them, makes them uh, happy with that uh, switch. It's going to bring up Joe DiMaggio. DiMaggio hitting 370. He's got a home run 5 RBI. Nobody's got zero home run. I'm sorry. Five RBI. I was looking at uh, Clemens there for a second. The pitch to Jolton Joe. 2 one, six. Little tapper. This one's back to the mound. Clemens off the mound. Gets it. Throws it to first for the out. And if you saw that, DiMaggio is going to be out the next two games. So that's not going to be good for the Yankees. They hope they can get the sweep here today. It's going to leave it all up to Lou Gehrig, who's batting 353. Still looking for that first homer. He's got four RBI. 525. He struck him. Nope. Fly ball center. Gosh darn it. With a man on, the K is a strikeout. Keep having to tell myself that. <clears throat> That's one of the negatives about playing on the computer. It does everything for you, so you. Yeah, you, you don't have that constant look up on the boards to see what it is. So that kind of, that memory retention sticks with you. But on the computer game, you, <laughs> you forget quite a bit. Okay, Red Ruffing steps to the mound. Ruffing, he's 2-0 with a 2.00 ERA. He has been magnificent in this tournament. And today, he's got to try to shut down the Red Sox and get the Yankees into the next round. Here's the lineup he'll be facing. I think he can go over the lineup for the Yankees. Uh, they have a couple changes due to injuries. Batting leadoff, the third baseman, Wade Boggs. Batting second, in center field, Tris Speaker. Batting third, in left field, Carl Yastrzemski. Batting cleanup, the DH, Ted Williams. Batting fifth, in place of... The uh, injured Jimmy Fox, David Ortiz, batting sixth, the catcher, Carlton Fisk, batting seventh, the shortstop, Nomar Garcia Parra, batting eighth, the second baseman, Bobby Doerr, and batting ninth, in right field, Harry Hooper. All right. So, leading it off, Wade Box. Wade Box has struggled in this tournament, and uh, he's only batting 212. Imagine what this team would be doing 
they they go as far into this uh, uh, tournament with their leadoff man hitting just 212. Here's the pitch to box. 552. Five, There's ball four. He walked him. Roughing walks the leadoff batter. Now he's going to roll on the M chart. Seven. That will be a possible wild pitch. Roughing a five. And dug out of the dirt by Yogi Berra. Nice play by Yogi. It's going to bring up Tris Speaker. Speaker, 324. He's got a couple home runs, or a couple RBI. The pitch to Tris Speaker, 416. On the ground to second and through into right field. Robinson Cano went far to his left but could not get it. And it bounds into right field. Ruth gets it in quickly and holds Boggs at second. So Boston has their first two batters aboard. And here comes Carl Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski is probably the most uh, struggling hitter they have in their lineup. He's batting just a buck three. Three hits and 29 at-bats and one RBI. He has really done nothing in this tournament. And again... They're, they are still in this the hunt for this series. They just hope he breaks out at the right time. Here's the pitch. And that might be right here. Base hit. That might get a run in. Boggs rounding third. He's going to hold. They're going to put the stop sign up. So, yeah, he's hit it too hard. Boggs stops at third. The bases are loaded. Nobody out. And here comes Ted Williams. 304. A couple home runs. Three RBI. Williams. Roughing sets. He's got a jam here. They're hoping for a double play ball. A pitch. 5-1-1. One, one. This is ball two. With the bases loaded. Now Williams. Back in the box. Red Ruffing sets and delivers. 4-2-6. This might be the double play they wanted. But no, it's not. It's into right field. Cano can't get to it. And a run comes in. So the runners go station to station. Matt Williams has himself a single. It was off of Cano's glove and into short right field. And Speaker had to stop at third. So the bases are still loaded here in the first for the Boston Red Sox. Here comes David Ortiz. Ortiz, 0 for 2 in the tournament. He does have an RBI. The pitch. 2-3-2. Two, two. Struck him out. Ortiz with a big swing and a miss. He's going to bring up Carlton Fisk. Fisk batting 357. He's got one home run and nine RBI. He has been very productive from the catching position. Here's the pitch. 5-5-2. Five, five, he walked him. Walks in a run. Speaker touches the plate, and it's 2-0. Now we're going to roll on the M chart. 7 again. And... Dug out of the dirt by Yogi. 2 nothing. The bases are still loaded. And Ruffing not looking quite as uh, strong as he's had in the past. He's already walked three in this inning. Or, I'm sorry, two in this inning. It's Nomar stepping to the plate. Nomar, again, another struggler. 167. He's got a couple RBI in the tournament. The pitch. 6-2-2. This one, base hit into center field. One run in. Here comes Ted Williams. He's going to hold. The bases remain loaded on the base hit by Garcia Parra. It's 3-0 Boston. And now Bobby Doerr comes to the plate. The pitch. 5-1-4. And it's a ball two. 
roughing having trouble finding the plate and when he does find the plate it's grooving the ball and the hitters are hitting him hard pitch the door oh my look at this we might have a grand slam Grand slam for Bobby Dore. He's blown it open here in the first. Seven runs have crossed the plate. And the Red Sox are up. Seven. Nothing here in the first. Ruffing, who had been magnificent in his first two starts, has <laughs> look at the stat line. Seven runs on five hits in the third of an inning. Unbelievable. And roughing will come out for Lefty Gomez. Gomez will face Harry Hooper as the Boston Red Sox are. This will be the ninth batter to, to the plate here in this inning. The pitch. I three two. He, he hit him. No, he walked him. I'm sorry. He walked Hooper as the pitching woes continue for the Yankees. We're gonna roll on the D chart here. Eight. Pickoff error. Gomez. Oh, he throws it away. He threw it away, trying to pick off Hooper. And Hooper will go down to second. And we're at the top of the order. Boggs walked and scored a run back in the earlier part of this inning. The pitch to Boggs. 1-2-5. Ground ball. Second base. Cano flips it over to Mattingly for the second out. On the third goes Harry Hooper. Tris Speaker stands in the pitch. One, two, three. And he got him on strikes. Speaker out on strikes. The inning's over, but the damage has been done. The Red Sox keyed on the by the grand slam off the bat of the Bobby Door take a 7-0 lead here into the second inning. Clemens now has a cushion here and he can challenge the hitters a little more. First up, Babe Ruth. Ruth, 406, six home runs, 18 RBI. He has been atop the leaderboards in this tournament. He has to be. I haven't looked at the leaderboards yet. I was waiting until the, after the Detroit-Oakland series to, to look at it. Uh, here's the pitch to Ruth. 5-3-5. Five, five. And Ruth draws a walk. Clemens walks Ruth, and that'll bring up Mickey Mantle. Mantle batting 286 with a homer and 3 RBI. Mantle, 5-2-4. He got him on strikes. Struck him out. That'll bring up Don Mattingly. Mattingly, 250, a home run and three RBI. Mattingly. Here's Clemens. He sets. He delivers. 5 2 2 again. And struck. Nope. That's going to be a fly ball to right. Hooper's there. He makes the catch for the second out. It's going to leave it all up to Yogi. Yogi hitting 261 with a pair of homers and five RBI. The pitch to Barra. 4 1 6. On the ground to second. Door is a 55. Woo! -hoo! Took a bad hop. Bounced off his chest. He gets to it, throws the first, and gets the out. Almost trouble, but Door sticks with it. And the inning's over. They strand a man. We head to the bottom of the second and seven nothing Boston here's Jazz to lead it off two 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 
There's a base hit. Ender left field. Going the opposite way. And now Yaz is going to try to get a lead here. And he cannot. So Ted Williams steps up. Williams singled home a run his last time up. He's one for one. The pitch to Ted. 6-2-4. Against the lefty. That's going to be a base hit. In the left field. Back-to-back -back singles by Yaz and Williams. And Boston starts out like they did last inning. Two, the two leadoff men on with nobody out. And here comes David Ortiz. Ortiz struck out his first time up. The pitch to Ortiz. 6-5-1. Big swing and a miss. He struck him out again. Ortiz out for the second time. Now bring up Fisk. Fisk walked. And walked in a run his last time up. The pitch to Fisk. 5-3-3. Three, three. Hey! Hit him! Oh, he came in tight. And Fisk is going to go to first. To load the bases. And familiar territory for the Boston Red Sox. Bases loaded. Only one out. And here comes Nomar. The pitch to Nomar. 4-2-1. This could be a double play. On the first, throws it to second for one. Back to first, double play. The inning's over. So the Yankees get out of the inning with no harm done after the two leadoff batters got on. We head to the third. It's 7 nothing, Boston. Greg Nettles will lead it off. He's hitting 350 with a homer and three RBI. Having a pretty good uh, tournament so far. The pitch. The Nettles, 5-2-6. Fly ball, center field, speaker. He'll camp under it, make the grab, and then there's one away here in the third. It's going to bring up Cano. 250. Still looking for that first RBI. The pitch to Cano. 6-3-1. Popped him up. No, he struck him out. He's got the sneaky little K there at 6-1. And it's a strike three, second strikeout of the day for Clemens. Caught the corner there. Now Jeter. Jeter flew out his first time up. He's 0 for 1. 3, 4, 5. We got a possible rare play, hit, or foul ball. It's going to be another rare play. 4. Jeter is safe at first when shortstop's long throw bounces away from first baseman. Jeter heads for second base. Ortiz retrieves the ball. Fires a strike to second. And scooped and the tag applied. He is out at second base. Jeter. Breaks up. Well... I won't say break up, broke up the no-hitter. I mean, he did, but it was only the third inning. First hit for the Yankees on a little infield single. They're going to call it a single, even though it was thrown away by uh, Garcia Parra. Should have been an error on him, but instead, Ortiz threw a strike to door at second, who... Took it on an in-between hop and put the tag on Jeter for the out. Nice play. And now Bobby Dorr bats to lead off the, t or the, the, the bottom of the third. Lefty Gomez. Mel Stottlemyre will come in to pitch. And he'll face Bobby Doerr. Do Doerr hit a grand slam back in the first. The pitch to Doerr. 2-5-3. 2-5-3. A little pop-up. No, oh, it's ground out. Second base. Cano's got it. Over the first one away. 
Harry Hooper steps in. He's walked his last time up. The pitch from Sotomayor. 4-4-6. That's a ground ball to second. Cano's got it for the second time. Over the first. Two away. It's going to leave it up to Wade Boggs. 0 for 1. He did walk back in the first and scored a run. The pitch to Boggs. 4-5-5. Ground ball to short. Cheater pumps once. Fires it to first. Gets... The batter and the innings over. One, two, three for the Red Sox. We hit at the top of the fourth. It's seven nothing in Boston. Step into the plate is Joe DiMaggio. 0 for one today. Two six six. There's a little looper. That's gonna fall in. Face it. Hooper couldn't get to it in time. And DiMaggio on with a hit. It's going to bring out Lou Gehrig. Gehrig flew out to center his first time up. The pitch to Lou. 1-5-5. Hey, struck him out. Clemens throws the fastball by him. That's a... Third strikeout of the game for Clemens, and one out here in the fourth. Here's Babe. Babe walked his last a pitch. 4-5-1. On the ground to first. Goes to second for one. Back to first. Double play. Nice relay from Nomar to get the double play. The inning's over. Boston comes the bat in the bottom half of the fourth. Here's Tris Speaker, one for two today. The pitch, the speaker, one, one, one. There's a base hit. Up the middle into the center field. Speaker with his second end of the game. And now, there he goes. Throw down, not nearly in time. Speaker's got himself a stolen base. And now, he might try to try to steal third here. The, there he, no, he, he goes, the throw down, not in time. Speaker with two stolen bases, and he is now on third with nobody out. Let's see if the Boston Red Sox can bring him in. Here's Yaz. They got a half to play in, aren't they? They're already down seven, nothing. Bringing the corners in. Nah, we're going to bring everybody in. Here's the pitch to Yaz. 3-4-6. There's a drive into the gap. This one's going to get down. It's going to roll to the wall. In to score comes Speaker, and Yaz will stroll into second. He has got three hits today. He has come alive, and it is 8-0. In favor of the Red Sox. It's going to bring up Ted Williams, who's got two hits. 3-6-3. Three, three. That's going to be a base hit into right field. Here comes Yaz, rounding third. He's going to score. Roof's throw goes into second. It's 9 to nothing, uh, Boston. Two strikeouts here for David Ortiz. He's trying to amend that, the pitch. Nope, two, four, three. That's going to be a shot towards the gap. DiMaggio lays out, makes the catch. What a catch by DiMaggio as he saved a double there. One away here in the fourth. Here comes Carlton Fisk. He's 0 for 1. No, I'm sorry, he's 0 for 0. He's walked and been hit by a pitch. 1-6-4. There's a ground ball back to the mound. Stottemel fields it. Throws. Oh, throws a one. Fist is going to beat out the throw. So two outs. 
for Nomar. Nomar, one for two, four, two, three. On the ground to third, Nettles over to first. The inning is over. So another couple runs for the Boston Red Sox. They lead at 9 nothing. After four innings of play, we head to the fifth. Leading it off is Mickey Mantle. The pitch. Mantle, 5-2-2. Two, two. Ground ball, first base. Ortiz waves soft. No, he's going to throw it over to Clemens covering for the out. He looked like he wanted to take it himself, but Clemens is like, no, I want to get the uh, put out. Here's Mattingly. Mattingly, 0 for 1, 2, 3, 4. He struck him out. Strikeout number 4 for Roger Clemens. That'll bring up Yogi. Yogi grounded out his last time up. A pitch, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Ground ball to short. Across the bag, Garcia Parra sidearms it and gets the runner at first. 1-2-3 go the Yankees. Clemens has had their number here so far. It's 9-0 as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Bobby Doerr to lead it off. 1-2. 6-5-1. Swing and a miss struck him out. Down goes Door. One away. Here in the fifth. Here's Harry Hooper. 644. Four. Hooper rips one towards the gap. In left center field. Mantle racing after it. He is gonna get to it. Turns and fires a strike into second to hold speaker to a single. Good play by Mantle. And now Wade Boggs steps up. Boggs 0 for 2. 1 3 3. There's a base hit up the middle. In the center field. Hooper on his way to third. He'll go in standing. And runners at the corners with only one out for the Boston Red Sox. Mel Stoudemire now on his B grades. And we're going to try to get another. If he lets a hit here, then I'll, I'm will i going to take him out. But I'm trying not to use all their pitchers up here in the uh, early to mid innings. Here's Speaker, two for three. Two, three, five. Little chopper towards second. Cano's got it. Run will score. Cano has to go to first with it. The ball was hit too slowly. And there's two away. But a run scores to make it 10 nothing in favor of the Red Sox. Here's Yaz, who's got three hits today. 1-5-6. Popped him up. Shortstop, Jeter, he's there. He's calling everybody off. He's got it, and the inning's over. But another run, and it's 10 nothing in favor of the Red Sox. Roger Clemens back to the mound. He'll face Greg Nettles to lead off here in the sixth. The pitch to Nettles. 0 for 1, 3 3 3. He rips one towards center field. Speaker comes in. He's got it. Hit on a line, and Speaker able to run it down for the first out. Here's Robinson Cano. 2-5-4. Cano 0 for 1. And he's out on strikes. Clemens throws it by him for his fifth strikeout. Just going to leave it all up to Derek Jeter. 1 for 2. 5-2-3. Two, That's going to be a fly ball right field. This should end the inning. Hooper's there. He's got it. And the side is retired. We head to the bottom of the sixth. The Yankees are going to bring in Bob Shockey in the pitch. Looks like we're going to have a game seven. 
unless the Yankees just blow up. But it uh, doesn't look good. Here's Ted Williams to lead it off. Three for three. Couple RBIs for Ted Williams. The pitch. One, one, two. There's a base hit. Liner into left field. Mantle. Bounces off his chest. He gets to it though and throws it into second, holding Williams to a long single. That'll bring up David Ortiz. Uh-oh. Ortiz rips one. Oh, this is not going to be... Forgot left... Right field is not as... Uh, home run friendly. <laughs> no, it's going to be a base hit. Williams is going to stop at second. So first and second for Carlton Fisk. Fisk, 0 for 1, 2, 6, 5. There's a fly ball right field. Underneath it is Ruth. He makes the catch, and Williams is fakes the tag, uh, uh, tag up as the throw is cut off. So first and second, one out now for Nomar. Nomar, 1 for 3. 5-5-3. Five, five, that is going to be ball four. He walked in. The bases are going to be loaded. Boston has the base. And look who's up. Bobby Doerr, who's already had a grand slam today. He bats. The pitch. One, two, two. This is going to be a double play. Ground ball to third. Nettles to second for one. Back to first. Double play. Yankees get out of a huge jam there. But they've been in pretty much in a jam all game long. Ted nothing as we head to the seventh. Clemens back to the mound. Clemens, let's take a look real quick at his. He's faced 19 batters. One more than the. One more than the uh, minimum. Here's DiMaggio, who's one for two. One, five, four. Got him on strikes. Clements rears back and throws it by DiMaggio, who swung at the high fastball. Brings up Luke Gehrig, who's 0 for two today. Two, one, six. Little tapper out to the mound. Clemens has got it. Fires the first, and Garrick is out. Two away. They have just not hit the ball very hard against Roger Clemens today. Here's Babe, 0 for, two, 0 for 1. 3 2 5. There's a line drive. It's caught by Garcia Farah. A soft liner off the bat of Ruth for the final out. Head to the bottom of the seventh. 10 nothing, Boston. Up big. It's Hooper to lead it off. He's one for two. Five, one, two. He walks him. A lead off walk to start the seventh for the Red Sox. Here's Wade Boggs. Box, one for three. Three, six, one. There's a base hit into right field. Hooper rounding second. He's going to go into third standing. And runners are at the corners. Second hit of the day for Wade Boggs. And just like that, another jam for the Yankees. First and third. First and third. And nobody out. Here's Tris Speaker. Speaker's got a couple hits today. Two for four. Six for one. That one's going to be trouble. This is going to get over the head of the left fielder and into the corner. Speaker's going to head into third with a triple. 
And it's two more runs for the Red Sox. 12 nothing. Sixteenth hit of the game for the Red Sox. It's gonna bring up Yaz, who's had three hits today. Four, four, six. This one's on the ground a second. It'll get another run in. Over to first for the out. 13 nothing now. A crooked number indeed for the Red Sox. Here comes Ted Williams, who's got four hits today. Trying to make it five. The pitch to Ted. Three, four, six. Possible hit. Possible rare play. It is going to be a rare play again. Three for three on those. Four, four, eight. Tapped in front of the plate. Roll one die against catcher's defense. Home advantage. You're going to subtract one. Barra jumps on it. Fires the first and gets the batter. Nice play by Barra for the second out. And that keeps Williams from his perfect day. It's going to leave it up to David Ortiz, who's one for four. One, three, one. He struck him out. Shocky got him on the curveball. Third strikeout of the game for Ortiz. We head to the eighth. Clemens still in there. Facing Mantle to lead it off. Mantle 0 for 2. And Mantle just got a hold of a fastball. He drives it deep. Way back in right and gone. A home run for Mickey Mantle. And the Yankees are finally on the board. Clemens not happy. Even with giving up a one run here, he grooved the fastball and Mantle jumped on it. It's going to bring up Mattingly. 5-6-5. Five, five. E bounces one to short, charging his Garcia Parra all over to first, and he got him. One away. Here's Yogi, 0 for 2. 5 1 1. Grounder to third. Boggs cuts off the uh, grounder. Pumps once, fires the first, and gets him two away. It's all up to Craig, Greg Nettles. Nettles, 0 for 2. 1 6 1. And Clemens. Throws the fastball by him for the final out of the inning. We head to the bottom of the eighth. 13-1 after the home run by Mickey Mantle. Here comes the Red Sox to bat. Carlton Fisk. 5-3-2. Walked him. No, he hit him. God darn it. I got to remember, 40-41 are hit by pitches. Fisk rolls on the E chart. There he goes. The throw down. And he got him. Nice throw by Yogi Berra to get. And the Yankees are not happy about Fisk trying to steal a base when they're up 13 to 1. And they're letting him have it. John at him. Here's Nomar. One for three on the day. Two one six. This one's a little tapper towards the mound. Pouncing on it is Shockey. Over to first. Two away. It's gonna leave it up to Bobby Door. Door. One for four. Six three four. Popped him up. Third base side, Nettles, he's there. He makes the catch, and the side is retired. We head to the ninth. Last chance for the New York Yankees, and Clemens is coming out to try to finish him off. Here's Cano to lead it off. He has struck out twice, 5-4-3. Fly ball. 
Left right field. Hooper's there. He makes the catch. One up, one down. Brings up Derek Jeter. Uh, one for three for Derek Jeter today. Six five four. Got him on strike. Struck him out. Two away, and it's all up to Joe DiMaggio. Eight strikeouts on the day for Roger Clemens. DiMaggio has been a strikeout victim once. He is one for three. DiMaggio stands in the box. Clemens sets, stares down DiMaggio. He sets, he delivers. One, two, six. Ground ball, third base. Boggs up with it, throws it to first, and we are headed to game seven as the Boston Red Sox win it big here in Boston, 13 to one. Take a look at the box score here. The Yankees had just three hits on the day, including a home run by Mantle. That's his second of the tournament. As for the Red Sox, they had 16 hits, three each from Tris Speaker and Carl Yastrzemski, four from Ted Williams. Those three themselves combined for seven RBI. Bobby Doerr had four of his own with a grand slam. Big offensive day for the Red Sox. Pitching-wise, Clemens. Goes to 3-0 and in the tournament. Eight strikeouts. He only walked one. A 2-2-5 ERA for Clemens in this tournament. Against the best of the best. And when you shut down the Yankees, you're shutting down the best offense in this league for sure. Ruffing took the loss. He only lasted a third of an inning. Gave up seven runs on five hits. He got roughed up. His ERA went from 2.0... 2.00 to 5.40 in just a third of an inning. The bullpen, Gomez did all right, but uh, Stottlemyre and Shockey both got shelled pretty good themselves. Again, Boston wins it. We are going to game seven. Let's see who the pitching matchup is for game seven. It's going to be Andy Pettit against Pedro Martinez. Pettit. Let's see if that's who they want to go with here. Got to throw our best. Should go with Gidry. Has he made a start? He has made a start. Let's see. August third, he won six to one. That's right. Let me see. August third. Here on August 7th. So, yeah, probably can't start him. We'll stick with Pettit probably against Pedro. Pedro's 2 0. Let's take a look and see how he's fared. His first game against Boston, he won 2 to 1. Uh, seven and a third innings pitch allowed just one run on four hits. But that second game at New York. 9 to 3 the final. He pitched 8 and a third, gave up 3 runs on 3 uh or on 2 hits. 15 strikeouts. He struck out 15 Yankees. So, can he outdo himself or can he do a red roughing and can the Yankees jump on him to win the series? We'll see. That should be a fun final game 7. We have two previous game sevens and they were both pretty darn good uh, Los Angeles won 
five to four, uh, two runs in the eighth inning to hold off the Milwaukee Brewers. And Texas loses to Minnesota in game seven. That wasn't quite as scintillating, but uh, so now we have our third game seven. And that's where we will be for the next uh, or the final game of this series for these two teams. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for the next series. Take care. Or for the next game, I should say. Take care. Thank <music> you.